Alright, so now let's do B. Find the possible values of N. Alright, so this can be challenging. Well, there is no data here. You know, there is no information given. It's just based on the table and whatever information that is given, it seems that it's not enough. Oh, how am I supposed to find the values of N? How would I know what is N? Well, you do know there is a range. The possible values of N, you have to find the range. Remember, it says that the data is arranged in descending order. So you do have a condition that you have to work with. N cannot just simply be any number. N cannot be 10 or 11 or 15 or 50 or 100 simply because the data here is currently arranged in descending order, which means, yeah, which means this data here that you're looking at must be between 10 and 6 because it is arranged in descending order. This data here cannot be 20. Yeah, it has to be between 10 and 6. So based on this condition, we can find the values of n. So let's let's start for, with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, and uh, let's let's do it over here. So um, b. Yeah, this is to answer b. Now for for this, I told as I told you, n plus 2 must be between. So n plus 2 must be between 6 and 10, right? So let's do the first one first. n plus 2 must be bigger than 6. Right, it must be bigger than 6, but it must be smaller than 10. Right, it must be smaller than 10. So we're going to do it one by one, yeah? The way to do this inequality, this kind of inequality, is this. Oh, God, the, the, it's not small. Smaller than 10, got it wrong. Okay, so let's do the first one first, yeah? I'm going to do this first. n plus 2 is bigger than 6, therefore n has to be bigger than, shift it over, 4. And we're going to do the next one. Uh, let's do the next one over here. Um, n plus 2 is smaller than 10 so therefore n must be smaller than 8 all right so now if n is smaller than 8 but bigger than 4 means n is between 4 and 8 so from here we can conclude that n has to be from this particular condition the value of n here has to be between 4 and 8 so n must be bet must be 5 6 or 7 right Okay, so we got, we got, we, we have the value of n now, yeah? We have the value of n, but that is only for this. See, there is another n here, yeah? And they say find the possible values of n must fulfill both side, both side, not just this. In order to fulfill the condition between 10 and 6, the value of n here can be 5, 6, or 7, all right? But it might not fulfill the condition here, all right? So n minus 1, so we repeat the same step over here. Um, there's no more space, so um, I'm going to write it over here, yeah? Uh, no, I can write it over here. Alright, so uh, n minus 1 has to be between 2 and 6, right? Has to be between 2 and 6. So let's write it down here. Um, so n minus 1 has to be bigger than 2. Let's start with this first, right? So then n has to be bigger than 3, right? But n minus 1 must be smaller than 6, because it is between 2 and 6, so now n minus 1 must be smaller than 6. So then n has to be smaller than 6 plus 1, that's 7. So now you have the condition for this, this one we're doing here. So now n has to be bigger than 3 but smaller than 7. So what are the values, what are the possible values of n? Bigger than 3 means can be 4. n, let's write here. Okay, n can be 4. n can be 5. Can n be 6? Yes. Can n be 7? n cannot be 7 because it has to be less than 7. So the possible values of n for this is 4, 5, or 6. Yeah, The possible values for n of this is 5, 6, and 7. So what is the overlap? Because your n must fulfill both of these boxes over here. So there is only two overlap. If you look at the data, there are only two overlap. n is 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6. So you can see that the answer is five or six so therefore the possible values of n would be six uh, sorry it's not six the possible values of n see i'm overlapping the wrong thing <laughs> so it's not fi it's five and six and it's five and six so the possible values of n would be five six and that's it for b <laughs> it's kind of scary right Okay, so let's very quickly do up C here. Based on the values of N in B, based on what you have found in B, so which means if you cannot find B, you cannot do C, okay? Right, so N is 5 and 6. Find the possible values of the mode. The mode is the one that is repeated the most. So, th so the one that is repeated the most is this, the highest frequency. 
So that means this is the mode. Right? So if that is the mode, the possible values of the mode. So let's write here. Possible values of the mode n minus 2. Uh, sorry, n minus 1. Yeah? So uh, when n is 5, n minus 1 would equal to 4. When n is 6, n minus 1 would equal to 5. So these are the possible values of the mode. 4 and 5. That's it. And we have done this question. <laughs> All right. Okay. Probably the one that is a little bit challenging is question B. All right. I'll see you in the next video for the next question. All right. Hang around. There is a second question, uh, which is something similar, but uh, also a little bit uh, tricky. All right. See you then.